Ethics. It is an integral part of professional engineering. The National Society of Professional Engineers state that engineering is an important and learned profession. As members of this profession, engineers are expected to exhibit the highest standards of honesty and integrity. Engineering has a direct and vital impact on the quality of life for all people. Accordingly, the services provided by engineers require honesty, impartiality, fairness, and equity, and must be dedicated to the protection of the public health, safety, and welfare. Engineers must perform under a standard of professional behavior that requires adherence to the highest principles of ethical conduct. Today we will present you with an example of a real-world ethical dilemma in the field of engineering. We will then identify the ethical framework used in the decision-making surrounding the dilemma, identify the stakeholders affected by that decision, as well as provide a solution for the ethical dilemma. Jolene Lee is a professional mechanical engineer. In 2010, she was employed at Carter Engineering & Associates. Her employer was hired by a private client to complete a water rights analysis. These types of analysis quantify water rights and provide terms and conditions for future use that must be approved by the local courts. Jolene, along with one other employee at Carter Engineering & Associates, participated in the project by stamping the final document on the water rights analysis. This stamp signifies that she accepts responsibility for the engineering work completed within the document. The analysis requires a five-step process, which can take years to be finalized. Jolene worked on the analysis during the first two steps, which include the application proposal and the engineering to support the application. The final three steps to complete the analysis include objections from the public, other water users, rebuttal of objector's comments, and mediation or trial. During that process, Jolene resigned from the firm and accepted a job offer from the state. The state is generally an objector in most water right analysis and specifically in this analysis. In Jolene's current position at the state, she has been isolated from the state's case in the matter. Her current position does not include opposing this or other cases. There is a potential for an ethical dilemma to arise due to conflicts of interest. Jolene must consider which actions would be considered ethical and which actions could be deemed unethical. Being a professional engineer, Jolene has an obligation to represent the work that she placed her stamp on. She is legally responsible for the engineering work she performed. However, she also has the obligation to act lawfully in her new position with the state. The utilitarian approach states that the ethical action is the one that will produce the greatest balance of benefits over harms. Which option will produce the most good and do the least harm? Both the engineering firm and the state could be affected by Jolene's ethical decisions. If she assists the state in approving the document that she stamped, an ethical dilemma could form. The client could lose validity of documentation, losing respect from past, current, and future potential clients. The state could be held accountable and potentially face legal charges if they allow her to have the authority to endorse and approve the water rights analysis. However, if Jolene was to obstruct the state's approval process of the water rights analysis, a dilemma could occur as well. If she does not stay objective to the matter, she is likely to make an unethical decision that could jeopardize her current position. The best decision would be to separate herself from any approvals of documentation that she completed. Because of her responsibilities as a professional engineer, she is liable for her work on the analysis and will be held accountable for her engineering efforts for the client. If issues arise with the approval process, she should support her work but attempt to remain unbiased. She should only state facts such as what she did and why and answer any questions about her work. She should not defend the company or try and sway the court in either direction. She should only support her work and expand on why she did it the way she did. Every day, professionals face ethical dilemmas that may or may not have a right solution. The world of ethics is hard to understand. An individual simply has to use their best judgment to make decisions that will do more good than harm.